so I drove all through the night and I made it to the doctor's office and on top of everything I was packing and a suitcase came down and hit my head so look at this big giant bump I have on my head now so that's just on top of everything else that's going on and yeah I'm pretty overwhelmed but we made it and I'm here at the doctor's office now and yeah we're gonna see what's on my face like I said in my previous vlog, I may have to be admitted into the hospital, which is just a very, like, not scary necessarily, but I haven't been in the hospital since my transplant, so it's just hitting some feels, but we'll see, so we're just kind of waiting. And I got my mama right here with me, and here's my little doctor's office I'm waiting in, so yeah. So I'm being admitted. And I'm not the happiest camper right now. Okay guys, so it's a few minutes later and I pretty much just had to like pull myself together. And I'm so sorry for like putting and crying in front of you guys and showing all my emotions. I'm just really overwhelmed and I literally feel like a basket case. But right now, to um, save time in the hospital, I am actually getting x-rays done and blood work before I even, like, am admitted, so that's what we're doing. How you doing? What's your day to burn? Two and seven, right here. All right. She's right here to the Right, right there, perfect. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and breathe. Now, put your left side against there. Good. Oh, you're saying it perfect. <laughs> Take in a deep breath, hold it. We got x-rays and blood work done, and now we're just waiting for a bed to come available in the hospital. Okay guys, so as you probably already know, I'm getting admitted into the hospital. And uh, the hospital was actually full, so they didn't have a bed for me, so I had to go and like, just wait on a bed pretty much. And if there wasn't a bed available by like two o'clock, then my doctor said to go like the ER so I could start my meds and everything. Um, so I've been waiting on a bed and I actually went to my sister's apartment and redid my makeup so I didn't have like the crying tears down my face. I don't know, I always like to look good even in these situations. I don't know, it just makes me feel better. And I was even a bit of a rebel and decided to go have my nails done. So I went and did that too. So here's my nails and they are purple for Easter and everything. So now I'm just sitting in this little waiting room waiting to be checked into my hospital room, so yeah. I really don't know if I've explained yet like why I'm going in the hospital. Um, pretty much I have shingles and they're on my face, therefore they're like on my nose and right here. And um, if they were anywhere else that would be okay. But since it's in like this area, they're worried about like the shingles going to my eyes and stuff. And that could be very serious and stuff. So my doctor pretty much said, yes, it is overkill to put you on like the hospital and everything. But they would rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to be admitted and put on like IV antibiotics. And so yeah, I'm just having lots of emotions honestly because I haven't been admitted in the hospital since my transplant. So I'm actually like sitting in the same place as like when I waited for my transplant. So yeah, it's just like memory lane, but you gotta do what you gotta do.